In this video, we'll install Visual Studio Code on macOS Sonoma. We'll start by opening a browser and going to code.visualstudio.com. We'll click Download for macOS. This will download a zip file, and depending on your browser settings, it may automatically unzip. If it doesn't automatically unzip, just unzip the zip file, and you'll see this Visual Studio Code app. And I'll drag this over to the Applications folder locate that and then double click on Visual Studio Code. I'll click open and you'll be greeted by the welcome screen for Visual Studio Code that you get the first time you open it. And this lets you set up some of your configuration options like the color scheme and things like that. So for now we'll just go ahead and close this tab. And now I'm going to click on the extensions button over on the left side and that'll open the extensions marketplace. I'm going to search for C++, and I'm looking for the C, C++ that's published by Microsoft. And I'm going to click Install on that. And now that it's installed, it's auto-launched this Getting Started checklist for C++. I'm going to go ahead and click the extensions icon just to close this panel on the left. And you'll see that the first thing we need to do is install a C++ compiler on macOS. And the recommended way of doing this is to copy this command into a Visual Studio Code terminal and run it. You may have noticed that down in the bottom right of our screen, we do have already active a Xcode install process that's in the background that was automatically launched by Visual Studio Code. And that will be the process that we actually need. But if that hasn't already launched, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and copy and paste this Xcode select dash dash install into the terminal on Visual Studio Code. And to open that terminal, you can use the keyboard shortcut control shift and then the back tick. And we can dismiss this notification. And when I hit enter, you see that we get this response that the install is requested for the command line developer tools. And again, it was already requested before we did this and it's down here in the doc. So we'll click on this icon down in the dock. And here is the dialog for installing those developer tools. And we'll click Install. Click Agree. And this will begin downloading and installing the software. This can take a little bit of time, so we'll let that go. And now it's done. I'm just going to click Done. And go back to Visual Studio Code. And you can see that the instructions say we can verify that our installation was successful by running this command, which is clang dash dash version. And so I'll run that down here in the Visual Studio Code terminal. And we can see that we do in fact get a version number back indicating that it is installed. So now let's just create a C++ file to verify that everything is working as we need it to. And I'll be prompted to install the C, C++ extension pack extension. And we do want to install this. So this is another extension that has some helpful tools. So we'll go ahead and Click Install on that, and you can see that it includes the C, C++ package that we already installed, and some other things. So I'll close that now that it's installed, and we'll close the extensions panel as well, and we'll go back to writing our C++ file. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file, and I'm just going to create a folder here in my file system and call it test app. And then I'll just call our file test.cpp. And now I'm going to go ahead and start to write our basic Hello World test program. So I'll include IOStream. I'll use the standard namespace and start to write our main function. And you can see that I've got some red squiggly lines up here on my include statement. And if we hover, we can get a little bit more information about that. And you'll see that we need to do a little bit more configuration for the IntelliSense to work here. So I'm going to click on Quick Fix, and what we want to do is select an IntelliSense configuration to locate the system headers. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to choose using Clang++. And you'll see once I've done that, the red squiggly line goes away. I'm going to finish our program by putting an output statement. I'm just going to type hello world, and then I'll save the file. And I'm going to come up here to the right and click the play button. It's going to ask me what I want to use to build it. 
and I'm going to choose the first one here, Clang++, and you'll see that that build starts down at the bottom. It's finished. And this first time it's going to ask me for my password so that uh, Visual Studio Code can access developer tools on macOS. So I'm going to go ahead and input my password and click continue. I should only have to do this once. And there's our output of hello world. And so now we are set up, good to go, and ready to write as much C++ as we want.